So this is my buckskin making camp where I can turn this into this into this which is not a good final project but I'll tell you more about that later. First I'll give you a tour. The campfire is used to boil water. The water is used to mix with cold water and store hides in the coolers. That helps the hide to rot and makes the hair come out easily. Down here is where I fetch the cold water from out of the creek. And over here is my uh, scraping board and scraping tool. So after soaking your hide, you put it on your flushing beam with the hair side down. And then you figure out how much of it to take off. Just like this. You'll see the initial layer of fat and meat that's left on it. it comes off fairly easily. But what you're really getting down to is through that layer to where it's kind of a milky white. And after you get the flesh side all done, you flip it over and then you go to de-hairing as well as removing the epidermis. I don't know if that's coming in on the camera, but there's another thin layer to get through. I don't know why this hide is so tough. I think counting this one, it's my third, and it's by far the toughest one to scrape. The cool thing is with making buckskin is it's not long before you've made a useful product. I could probably stop and use this as buck, uh, uh, rawhide, but every hide that you take to the finished product, you learn more about the process that way and what works, what doesn't, and what various uh, problems affect uh, final flaws. For instance, this hide, this is the only one I've taken through the process, uh, everything except for smoking it. And it has some soft parts, but it also has some uh, stiff parts, especially on the edges. So this one will go back in the brains. This one will eventually go in the brains once I'm done scraping it. That's where I'm at with these. Right, dog? I got a new dog. He can't stand being away from me. So this is part one of making buckskin. Next part will include the braining and stretching process and hopefully even the smoking process if these uh, <coughs> come out soft enough through the uh, bra uh, braining and stretching. So. This is me learning as I go. I hope you're enjoying it. Thanks for all the views, everybody. And we're getting closer to Christmas, so once again, Merry Christmas.